What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to be talking about a chocolate chai and the Parker Sonnet with a 18 karat gold nib. So this chocolate chai comes from Tivana um, and it is pretty much like it sounds. It's a chai tea that kind of has a chocolate flavor. Um, oh yeah. The ingredients are cocoa kernels, black tea, cinnamon, natural uh, and artificial flavoring, ginger, carrot pieces, chicory root, rooibos, chocolate flakes, cloves, vanilla pieces, and cardamom. So there's a lot going on in this tea. And typically, if you've watched any of my other tea reviews, um, or if you've watched any of the triple teas that air on Tuesdays, um, I'm not a huge fan of rooibos tea. Um, but I am a huge fan of black tea. And this one has both of them in there. And I get nervous whenever rooibos gets mentioned because I really don't care for the, the rooibos tea flavor. Um, and because you don't like it, you're going to pick it up over anything else. So I usually will taste it um, like the um, Tivana's Oprah Cinnamon Chai um, that I did a few episodes ago. That one I definitely taste the rooibos. So I'm not a huge fan of it. This one, I can't taste it at all. So it's great. Um, and it tastes like its name, chocolate chai. Um, so you're going to get, you know, a dark chocolate um, flavoring mixed in with like a bit of sweet vanilla. We've got, you know, cinnamon, um, you know, definitely got that black tea and that rooibos kind of like body to it. Um, and because it's a blend of rooibos and black tea, um, there's not as much caffeine in it as there would be if it were just straight up black tea because um, the rooibos is caffeine free. So technically you have less black tea mixed in with the rooibos. So it's kind of a little bit less, um, which is nice. Uh, and it's also nice because it has a standard brew time. So you take one teaspoon, put that into whatever it is you're using to brew, um, let it full boil 212 degrees Fahrenheit, um, you know, for about three to four minutes. Um, I'm a little closer to three minutes on this one. This one's pretty strong. Um, if you let it go past three minutes, then you're gonna get more of a cinnamon flavor and you're gonna lose a little bit of the chocolate and vanilla flavoring because um, they're a little bit more delicate. Um, then the cinnamon, which tends to be a little bit more prominent the longer that you um, let it brew for. Um, I don't know if this one would be necessarily I would buy every single time um, as far as the chai tea goes because I do have um, the Maharaja chai already um, and I have a whole bunch of like chocolate flavored teas from David's tea already. Um, but every once in a while that's a really nice one. Um, especially right now, actually, if you get it from Tivana, they have a sale. It's usually like 12 bucks for 50 grams, which is kind of high in my opinion. Um, but right now they have it on sale for $3.25 for 50 grams. So that price, I'm definitely buying. <laughs> um, but with that tea, I have paired the Parker Sonnet. This one in particular has an 18 karat gold nib. You can also get ones with steel nibs. Um, depending on the finish that you get. There are so many finishes, like way too many to talk about. Um, this one happens to be a checkered pattern and it's like steel with like black in between each checkered. Um, and it feels really good. Like if you can hear this, hopefully the camera will pick that up, but that'll give you an idea of the texture. Like you can really feel each square. It feels really weird, but really, really cool. Um, finial is just a black dot surrounded by gold. Um, you get Parker's typical arrow style um, clip, which works really well. There's nice tension to it. Um, around the gold center band it says Parker Sonnet France. And then the end here is just another small black dot uh, with solid stainless steel end. It is a snap cap, which by the way, feels really good. I love the way this, this caps. Oh yeah. So <laughs> um, to reveal a nicely sized grip section, it's very long and because it is a snap cap, there's no threads. Um, so you can basically put your thumb wherever you want there's a teeny bit of a step up here, but it's like so shallow and it's so smooth that you're not really going to notice it. But 
even if you did, um, there is such a large grip section that your thumb will actually be on the proper grip section. Uh, it reveals a relatively small but mighty 18 karat gold nib. Um, and then if you unscrew the barrel, which feels very smooth, um, it reveals uh, Parker branded, but I believe it is a standard international converter. And just, oh yeah, it threads together so nicely. And it pushes to post. It pushes very deeply, very securely. It does become slightly back weighted, um, but that's also because I'm more sensitive to posting because I normally don't ever. So if you have slightly larger hands, you're, you're probably gonna wanna post this pen and it's gonna feel gorgeous to you um, because it posts all the way down here. So it posts almost halfway you know, at the halfway point of the pen. So it's very secure. It posts very nicely. I'm really impressed. And I just, oh, I love the way that that feels when you close it. Um, I basically love everything about this. Um, you know, you've got a great feel to the body. I really, really like that. You know, the large grip section, there's no threads, it's, you know, um, standard international converter, the nib is great. It, it's a little on the small side, um, but it writes really well. Um, and the cool thing is too, is you can buy separate nib units for this pen. Um, so I like that because then again, you can buy you know, a medium nib if you decide it's too, medi or it's too big, you want a fine nib, or it's too small, you want a broad nib or anything like that. You can buy separate nib units um, and they're not terribly priced. Um, it's a little bit of a jump to get them, but the options there if you need it. Um, so I really like that. The only thing that I don't like about this pen um, is that the grip section is a little bit narrow. Um, doesn't I've written for about 40 minutes. This is the longest session that I've ever written with this pen was 40 minutes without taking any breaks. Um, and my hand still wasn't fatigued, um, but it is slightly on the narrow side um, for my liking, but for the most part, it's really, really cool and I really like it. Um, this is not my pen, but I'm definitely gonna add it to the list of pens that eventually I will want to pick up. Um, between this and the um, Parker uh, Dual Fold that I did a review of a little while back, um, it's, a hard, it's a hard guess between them. Um, I would probably get the Dual Fold only because the grip section is a little bit wider, but I really, really like this pen. Um, if you get the steel version, so without a gold nib, um, US dollars, you're looking at about 130 bucks, um, but it will differ the cost. I've, I was looking around like so many different retail sites um, and the costs are a little bit all over the place within about $15 range, um, depending on the finish that you get. Um, so you may have to do a little bit of research. Um, so Canada, that translates into about 148. Um, if you get the gold version, then US, you're looking at about 270. Um, Canada, you're looking around 350. But again, it's gonna depend on the finish that you get. I've seen prices way less than that. I've seen prices more than that. So it's kind of hard to nail down a good solid, like this is what to expect price point. Um, you're gonna probably have to do your research on this one. Um, and the nib units themselves, um, so without the pen, just buying the nib, um, you're looking at about 114. So whether or not that would be worth it, I don't know, because 114 versus like 140 for the actual pen, um, it's pretty close. So you, you, know, you might as well just spend a little bit more, get another whole pen um, and, you know, with a different finish maybe, but totally up to you. The point is the option is there if you want it. Um, but yeah, I really like this pen. I really like the way it writes and I really want to show you how. All right, so ignore this a little bit. I apparently I couldn't spell. <laughs> Um, also, if you hear any random things in the background, I'm having landscaping done right now, so I apologize if a large crash happens. Um, so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is a medium 
18 karat gold nib. Uh, the ink is KWZ ink uh, honey, which I really, really like. <laughs> um, this nib honestly is awesome. It just, it responds so well. You're not going to get a whole lot of like line variation, but if you, I don't know if you can see this, but like if you just look at the nib bounce, it has like the best like shock absorber feel almost. So it really feels so nice when you're writing. Like you can see that nib just ebb and flow with you. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. Um, as far as the wetness goes, it's a pretty wet pen. Um, especially if you do write <clears throat> a little bit heavy handed like this, um, you're definitely going to get a really nice flow. Uh, reverse. You definitely can. It is fairly scratchy though. Um, so it's not a pleasant writing experience when you write this way, um, but it's there if you need to. Um, and as far as like being able to keep up, absolutely it keeps up, um, you know, with quick writing. Doesn't really have an issue. Only ever once have I had a startup issue with this and that's because I left it uncapped for a while. Um, but I mean, a, a quick one, two, three, and it's up and writing again. Um, so I really, really like it. Um, that nib is just, oh man, let me just show you this one more time. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm nerding out now. So, would I recommend this pen? Absolutely. Um, I really, really dig it. Um, I'm really happy with this one. This one, like I said, isn't mine, but I want one. <laughs> um, so that is going to be about it for me today, guys. Uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you really like the video and haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. There is a new video every Monday and Friday. Uh, and don't be afraid of the comment section below. I read everything down there and I do try and answer it as soon as I can. Awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.